Hi, I'm David Compton. A truck hauling 1,000 propane tanks causes a major explosion, and an 18-wheeler carrying livestock hits and kills an animal rights protester. Hey truckers, I'm Tucker. A reality TV star is in hot water for his trucking business, and a tractor trailer hauling fireworks goes out with a bang. These are just some of the stories we are covering on this edition of the Trucker News Channel. A truck hauling 1,000 propane tanks caused a massive explosion in Delbert, Nova Scotia. The intense flames forced crews to keep their distance at first. They were able to battle the fire once the propane tanks stopped exploding. Apparently the fire started in the truck's trailer brakes and then spread to the trailer. The incident caused heavy damage to the highway and fortunately no injuries were reported. VH1's Love and Hip Hop Atlanta's Maurice Fain, also known as Arkansas Mo, has been indicted for allegedly using coronavirus relief funds intended to help small businesses survive to pay for luxuries such as a Rolls Royce and custom jewelry. The reality TV star was arrested in May on federal bank fraud charges arising from a paycheck protection program loan that he obtained in the name of Flame Trucking. In a news release, the Department of Justice said Maurice Fain, 37, has now been charged with bank fraud, making a false statement to a federally insured financial institution, and money laundering. The charges are related to the Paycheck Protection Program, a federal program designed to help small businesses make ends meet while they were either closed or severely restricted because of the coronavirus. He's also been charged with wire fraud in connection with a Ponzi scheme. Federal officials said Fain posed as the owner of a profitable trucking business, but in reality, the business never made enough money to cover expenses. Friends and family are mourning the death of animal rights activist Reagan Russell, who was killed last week after she was struck by an 18-wheeler hauling livestock. She was killed while protesting outside of the Fearman's Pork Meat Processing Facility, Fearman's and the protesters apparently had an agreement where the trucks were to stop for two minutes to allow protesters to say goodbye to the pigs and give them water. However, after stopping, the trucker hit Russell when he proceeded onto the facility. Animal rights activists have been extremely vocal in talking to various media news outlets around the world, voicing opinions on social media about the events surrounding Russell's death. The Memphis Police Department is asking witnesses to help identify the driver of an SUV who opened fire on a tractor trailer on Saturday, June 20th. According to a Facebook post by the department, the victim was driving northbound on Interstate 40, passing Smith Avenue near the Chelsea Avenue exit when he was shot at by the driver of a small dark gray or green SUV, possibly a Saturn view. The vehicle has a luggage rack on top and what appears to be a temporary license plate on the rear. The suspect was last seen driving eastbound on I-40 toward the Watkins Road exit. The victim's vehicle was struck by gunfire. However, the victim was not injured. Anyone with information regarding this incident is asked to call Crime Stoppers at 901-528-2274. Time is money, and CatScale can help your drivers save time weighing. Drivers know their axle and gross weights before pulling off the scale and cat scale weights are always guaranteed. Drivers get back on the road faster with the Way My Truck app from CatScale. The Nebraska State Patrol is investigating a crash involving a tractor trailer hauling fireworks south of Euling. That is where they received a report of a crash involving a tractor trailer and an SUV at the intersection of State Highway 77 and Road F in Dodge County. When troopers arrived on the scene, the tractor trailer, which was hauling fireworks, was fully engulfed in flames and fireworks inside the trailer were actively exploding. The Dodge County Sheriff's Office and Hooper Police Department also responded to the call. Witnesses were able to extricate all persons involved in the crash from the vehicles before authorities arrived on the scene. Both occupants of the SUV, a Toyota Highlander, were transported to the hospital in Fremont for treatment. The driver of the Highlander was then flown to Nebraska Medical Center in Omaha for additional treatment. The driver of the tractor trailer was treated on the scene. The crash investigation is still ongoing. It's been said that necessity is the mother of all invention. 
Well, in Canada, one motorist needed a way to move something from point A to point B, and that led to an unconventional method. It seems that the Canadian police pulled over a Porsche driver hauling an unsafe load, which was a hot tub affixed to a homemade wooden cart. I love the way he used the hand dolly for the wheels. Officers caught up with the overburdened sports car on western outskirts of Woodstock, Ontario, and pulled over the 54-year-old male driver. I don't know. Looks safe to me. Well, that's it for this edition. If you're watching us on YouTube, make sure to click that little red subscribe button below. You can also go to thetrucker.com to read the latest breaking news stories. On behalf of David, myself, and everyone else here at the Trucker News Channel, thanks for watching.